What's up guys, welcome back to a new video on the YouTube channel. Today we're doing a wrap up on 2017 to talk about some of the upcoming content in 2018. This is a pretty generic YouTube uh, video that people have made, but I wanna sit down and just do my version of this because one, I did this last year, and a lot has changed um, in this past year when it came to my YouTube channel and I guess my life in a sense. Honestly, it's really weird how, how short one year is, but then at the same time, how much change can happen on this. So yeah, there's gonna be some timestamps on the screen on if you guys wanna skip just the 2017 recap. Um, Cause I do wanna talk about just a lot of stuff when it comes to 2017 and then you, but yeah, there's gonna be a timestamp on the screen that'll skip to just the 2018 upcoming content if you're only interested in that. So yeah, that should be on your screen right now. This video is gonna be pretty uh, relaxed though. You, th there's gonna be some just music playing in the background. You guys can just listen to this um, in the background if you're like grinding dual links or just playing some other game. But yeah, let's just get kind of started on this. 2017 has been a pretty interesting year when it came to my YouTube channel. We gained uh, about a thousand subs this year. I started 2017 at about a hundred subs and we gained at least like over a thousand subs in this uh, period, which is just within insane. At the time, I was a Pokemon U YouTuber and I made Pokemon Let's Plays and they were honestly not the best. I think my commentary was pretty good on those, but other than that, I didn't put as much effort as I could have on there to make them as entertaining as they could be. That's my fault, but you know, you gotta start somewhere when it comes to content. So I was a Pokemon YouTuber at that time and then I also was a Twitch streamer at that time and I used to stream a lot of Minecraft um, in 2017. Well, I didn't stream that much Minecraft 2017, but like in 2016, that's I streamed a lot of Minecraft then. While I don't regret it, essentially, it got really tiring pretty quick because playing Minecraft every single day for a couple hours on Twitch not it's not the best i mean i don't hate the game um but i just have like no passion to play it again because i overplayed the absolute crap out of it so yeah i used to be a in minecraft live streaming at the time but you know things have started to change a lot more and i started to like see youtube as more of a thing that i wanted to do and that's what really happened in 2017. the, the support on the channel in these past like three months has been insane ever since i joined the discord community when it comes to dual links and i made my own discord which is awesome too um but yeah, 2017 has just been really insane because my channel has been getting a lot more traction than it would have. And this Yu-Gi-Oh app, Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Links, has been the first time where I actually like enjoyed a mobile app and I've made content on this app. I made so much content on this app, it's actually pretty crazy. And yeah, these past couple of months have been noticed by a lot more people. The channel's been getting a ton of support and you know, without you guys, I would not be sitting here. I'm glad that you guys enjoy the content. I'm glad that I'm able to make some good content that gets out to people. Because one thing about YouTube is that you need to figure out how to make content that you're able to get outside while building a subscriber base. You need to get it to where it, other people besides just subscribers can get it. And I've been able to seem to be doing it. A couple of my videos have broke 10,000 views in a couple of like weeks, which is just insane. My most popular video on my channel is a Minecraft video, which I made in 2016, I believe. And that thing has about 25,000 views, okay? I have, that thing has been my most popular video for such a long time, okay? And then one of my recent Duel Links videos that was um, uploaded in December, that has 20K views, okay? Like that's insane. I really hope that this year, one of my videos or one of my newer videos in this year is gonna pass 25,000 views so I can get past so that Minecraft video is my most popular video. I never wanna delete the video because um, in my eyes, even hopefully someone will click on that video and even though that video is really stupid they can hopefully like still check out my channel and see my other content i make on there possibly so i mean hey it, it looks nice that i was able to make a video like that even though it's a pretty embarrassing video if you guys watch it it's it's pretty fucking stupid it's really stupid but nah i'm gonna keep it up there i'll keep that video on my channel all the time it's nice to look um and the past is some of the dumb stuff that i've done uh, before and just to see my new content now and how much I matured in a sense, you know what I mean? Um, another thing too that's interesting is that um, I haven't rewatched my 2017 uh, wrap up video or just thoughts on what I want to do in 2017, but I do remember a good amount of it. Um, not at the time, like I said, I was a Pokemon YouTuber. Uh, my goal was to make more Pokemon videos, keep grinding the Twitch thing. Well, actually, at that time, I was kind of getting tired of Twitch, but yeah, it's like it happens. And then out of nowhere, which was pretty, and also I said in there that I wanted to get better at editing, which I feel like I still want to get better at editing in this year, but I, I have got better at editing. My past couple videos that I edited are actually not the worst. 
So I'm really happy about that. That I was able to start learning some new editing stuff. I said that in the video. There's a couple like personal habits that I had. Like I have a bad habit of like chewing my nails and my fingers. And actually, while I still somewhat do that, it's a lot better than what I was doing at the start of 2017. I, my nails were just nasty in the beginning of 2017. But I definitely have been breaking out of that habit a lot better than I have um, nowadays. So that's really nice too. So yeah, like a lot of stuff, like while my personality in 20, beginning of 2017 is essentially the same as my personality right now, I still like grow, grown a decent amount and you know, just stuff like that. It's kind of what I'm trying to get in there. And I, for the most part, I hit most of my goals for 2017, but I think in 2018, I still really, really, really want to hit a lot of better goals. And there's going to be, I feel like this year, there's going to be a pretty good amount of change on the channel in a good way. It's going to be in a positive way. So this is going to be, I think I'll put the timestamp on here, what I want to talk about in 2018. Hopefully I talked about everything that I wanted to talk about in 2017, but thank you guys for all the support. You guys have just been amazing. These past couple of months, we hit a thousand subs, which is just is pretty good let's hit a much better uh some growth in this year i hope 2018 can be an amazing year for the channel and we can make this year the best year for the channel but i can't do it without your guys' support so seriously thank you guys so much i should have thanked you guys when i hit a thousand subs for the first time i don't know i, I just wasn't i don't know i had a weird feeling when i hit a thousand subs i don't know i'm really bad at doing like thank you videos on the channel so i don't really make them that much because it doesn't sound like I'm as appreciative of it, but I don't know. It's it's kind of a weird feeling that I have, but I might as well say thank you now for the support on the channel recently. It's actually been pretty insane. Let's crush some goals in 2018, but now we're going to talk about some of the 2018 goals and stuff like that. So for the most part, I'm going to want to keep the channel the same on when it comes to Duel Links content. I'm still going to be grinding out the Duel Links content. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links content is going to be the majority of the bulk on the channel. Uh, because that's where most of the viewership is from. That's where I've been building my viewership from. At the same time, I do want to expand on it, on it a bunch. And the first thing we're going to talk about when it comes to 2018 content ideas is that I want to do another Pokemon Let's Play. Now, when I did Pokemon Let's Plays in the past, I think I said this already in this video, but I didn't like, they weren't the best. Literally, my Pokemon Let's Plays at the time were just a decent thumbnail. It wasn't the best, it was a decent thumbnail. And it was just me recording the, you know, the Let's Play for 20 minutes, but no really editing in the video, no overlay on it, because I didn't really know how to do that stuff at the time. It wasn't really good at it. But now I want to try a Pokemon Let's Play again and actually make it good. We have a better audience. We have more people that are watching my channel no matter what content I make, which is awesome. So I feel like I can try a Pokemon channel or not Pokemon channel, I can make Pokemon content and see how it goes. I'm gonna put on the screen for a little uh, quick second uh, what the next project is gonna be. I'm really excited to get this set up because this time it's gonna be a banger. It's gonna be probably my best Pokemon project that I ever made because I'm gonna put time into it. I'm gonna edit it for the to make it more entertaining. It's gonna be a entertaining way of playing Pokemon because I've never done this before. And, um, and just overall, it's gonna be an awesome let's play. It's this this let's the reason why I want to do this let's play is for a couple of reasons. One reason why I want to do it is just so I can expand upon my channel again. I want to do better when it comes to a Pokemon let's play and having different um, ways to gain an audience on YouTube is still a pretty good thing. And Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, there's a lot of people that like both of them. So I feel like it would be pretty easy to tie in Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh on the channel again. But this time I'm gonna make it good, it's gonna be entertaining, and it's gonna, I'm gonna make it to where there's a reason for you guys that you're gonna wanna watch this. I've been, I have this uh, Pokemon Let's Play idea since September, and I just wanted to just get this thing going. And I think this beginning of the year is gonna be the time where I'm gonna wanna record this Let's Play and just make it really good. So that's one reason why I wanna do it, so I can expand upon the channel and just, have more ways of for different people to want catch my channel okay because like right now it's it, there's nothing wrong with having only dual links but like i don't want to burn myself out of dual links okay like i don't want to play this game every day and then get bored of it and then not enjoy the content that i'm making i want to enjoy other ways to make content too so that's why i want to do a pokemon let's play another reason why too is that i do want to keep learning how to edit my videos well and make it more entertaining for you guys one thing that i just don't do with my videos a lot is i don't edit them all the time and make it more presentable sometimes you don't really need to but there's other times where i want to like when i made that video talking about um the only time it's okay to use bamboo um ftk i wish that video got more views because i put a lot more editing into it but um 
yeah, I just really liked the, how the thing turned out for the most part. There's a couple things I want to change about that, but I was glad I was able to edit it to a decent quality and make it entertaining, you know? Some of my friends that watched it actually laughed. Some people had a good time and they're laughing at it, so that's what I want. That's one of the goals that I want to do when it comes to making content for that. So yeah, another thing, so yeah, that's what I want to do with the Pokemon Let's Play that I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to make it entertaining. I, I want to edit the Pokemon Let's Play. I want it just a new way for people to come to the channel, and that's why I want to do this Pokemon project. It's going to be a month or two until I can get this whole project set up to how I want it, maybe even longer than that, just because of the fact that I want to bulk record this whole entire Let's Play, okay? I want to bulk record this whole series because, as some of my uh, friends know from the past, and maybe a couple of the people that did watch my Pokemon series, there's a few people on my channel that um, came to my channel through Pokemon and still stuck around, which was awesome. Thank you. Shout out to you guys. You know who you are. But I had a really hard time uploading every single Let's Play or just finishing a Let's Play in general. I'm just not good at it. So if I'm going to do this project, I'm literally going to bulk record the whole video. Now, the only downside to that is that you guys can't comment and tell me like things that I missed on certain things, you know, just because of the fact that I bulk record the whole series. Like I, I'm going to get feedback on the video, but like the issue is I can't really like change anything about it because I'm going to have the whole series just ready to go and upload it. Only downside to that, but like it's better than not finishing the project. So. So that's why I want to do that essentially. So yeah, 20 to 18, I want to make a decent Pokemon Let's Play. Pokemon is still holds a special place in my heart. And you know, sometimes it's not the worst thing to go back to your roots in a sense. Another thing I want to do too is just um, do more live streams on different games. Uh, along with the idea of doing uh, this Pokemon project, I think after I do this, I could probably do live streams on different Pokemon games and um, have a fun time with that. Live streams are a lot of fun. I really do like live streams and hopefully I can build a bigger audience so like people can watch my content no matter what I play. That's going to be a lot of fun. I'm thinking about just doing multiple different games on the channel along with Pokemon. Because first of all, my channel name is called Watt007 Mobile Gaming Videos. The thing is, Duel Links is the only game that I play. I think uh, I'm going to want to change my YouTube name back to just WAT007 or WAT007 on my channel and just keep it at that. Just by that so by itself. Definitely would want to keep it like that, but yeah, I do want to play other games too. Uh, one game I was that today I just thought of playing at some point. This might come sooner than the Pokemon Project is playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, f very few people told me to play this game, and uh, I was me. So look, I mean, I was memeing around. I was watching Guns Blazing, and I clicked on his like one of his Doki uh, Doki Literature Club games, and I commented, I was like, maybe I should do a live stream on this or whatever. And the screenshots right here, he said yes. Now, I doubt Guns Blazing would watch my uh, live stream on it, but I think it's kind of funny that he said yes to play that game. So maybe, maybe I just got to fulfill Guns Blazing prophe prophecy and make a video or do a live stream on Doki Doki Literature Club. So that's another way to expand the channel, uh, do a meme stream like that. That game, for, I barely know anything about that. But at the same time, I think I know a couple things to be expect to expect a couple of just dumb things in that game. So expect a stream like that coming soon, maybe in a week or two. Who knows how my time frame is? I'm kind of busy around this time because I got finals coming up. But that's don't need to worry about that when it comes to this channel. This channel is just different from that, and I gotta balance it out. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to do something like that, which would be kind of funny to do. Uh, another thing I want to do on the channel besides playing new games and playing new mobile games, I do want to rebrand my channel. Rebranding my channel is something I had my uh, I had an idea on for a little while now. Um, I do like how I'm going to keep the logo the same. I'm just going to like update it and essentially make it more pop out, make it better, but still the same design. I want to rebrand my channel. I'm considering to like either get a new. So with my channel, like artwork, like my banner and stuff like that, literally it's a, uh, I just searched up like free YouTube banner on YouTube for Photoshop. And I just kind of just downloaded this version that someone made and then edited it myself. That's why it says created by Astro Graphics because technically he made it. And all, well, he didn't make it. I just edited it and put my name in there because I have that Photoshop experience. But I think I want to do my own uh, channel art. Uh, on the channel and see how that goes see um to make my channel pop out more and have more of a unique style not sure if i'm going to download a different uh banner and to update it and just edit it to how i want it to be or i just create one from scratch i probably should create one from scratch so i can get some more experience on graphic design because 
I do like doing some graphic design, especially on the YouTube channel. I mean, I'm doing all the graphics for my Pokemon series. I do all my thumbnails. So, I mean, I might, why not? I could try to make a thing from scratch when it comes to my channel, so. Look, thinking about that and rebranding my channel. Another thing along with rebranding my channel is that one of my friends mentions to me that I should make some merch on the channel, which doesn't sound like the worst thing in the world. Like I said, I could do the graphics for that. I could try to make some t-shirts that are related to Yu-Gi-Oh! and my channel and like have a whole like something like a spread shirt on that, you know? I think I can make like a spread shirt and just make it designs for you guys and you guys can buy that. Um, now, I, I heard from some people that Spreadshirt isn't like the highest quality it could be, but I think for like my channel size and like something that I can like do for free and make like stuff for you guys like that where I don't really have to do much, I just gotta make the designs. I think something like that could work out. So I'm planning to make merch this year. I don't know when that's gonna happen. I'm gonna try to make some good merch um, if I do decide to do that, some really nice designs. Hopefully they turn out good if I do decide to do that. But yeah, making merch does not sound like a bad thing at all. So that's just one thing I also want to do when it comes to 2018 and the YouTube channel. And then also coming back to like the other games and stuff like that, I have like this list that I'm reading off upon for ideas and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I want to play other mobile games on the channel because eventually in the next month or two, I'm going to get a new phone and thank goodness for that. Okay, I've been recording videos through this phone that I'm using right now for like a while now. I have this phone for two years and it's a great phone. It does everything I want it to do. But it's getting old, it's uh, glitching out sometimes when it doesn't need to. And the number one issue with this phone, while it's really good, the issue with this phone is that it only has 8 gigabytes of internal storage. I can't really install much games, especially when freaking Duel Links takes a like, whole gigabyte of data in this. Literally the only app game I have on my phone right now is Duel Links because I just can't hold a lot of space on my phone. So in these uh, next month or two, um, I'm gonna my family plans to upgrade phones, and I'm super excited about that because just the fact that new phone means I can record better through it. So I'm gonna most likely get an Android phone again. I don't like Apple; never was a fan of it. I want to get another Android phone. I want uh, hopefully I'll have more internal space, and hopefully it has a better um, spec so I can record uh, better without games having to lag. And yeah, just try out new bubble games on the channel, which will be awesome. And, you know, just have better uh, Duel Links content overall because I don't have a beefy computer for an Elgato capture card where I can just uh, use Elgato to um, stream, not stream. Well, I could stream and then, you know, make videos on my computer through that. And then, uh, yeah, so yeah, new phone, gonna be awesome. Another thing that I wanna get too is I wanna get a decent computer, like a gaming computer for one, playing with my friends on, because uh, some of my like childhood friends, they moved on to the PC Master Race, so it'd be fun to play some games with them every once in a while. And then also, mostly too, for making better videos on the channel, something that can render videos faster, something that can live stream at a higher quality. I want a personal computer for that because a gaming computer should be able to do that just fine. So I want to get a pretty decent computer this uh, this year so I can make some better content for you guys. Now, thanks to your guys' support on the YouTube channel, I'm making a decent chunk of change uh, when it comes to getting this computer. I think that's what I'm going to just save up all my YouTube money more is just get a decent computer. At the same time, though, if I did get a part-time job, um, I would make a lot more money than I am on YouTube. Like YouTube is making me a decent amount of money. But like if I got a part-time job, I would make a lot more money quicker. So YouTube and then getting a part-time job this year will definitely help me out getting a really good computer for the channel. And I can make better content for you guys. So I'm really excited about that. Super excited about that. So I want to get a new computer this uh, year for 2018 and all that stuff. And I guess that's, I think I might have said everything that I wanted to do uh, when it comes to 2018. If I missed anything, I'll probably put it in the comment section down below, pin the comment, just telling you that I forgot something. But I think it's gonna be kind of it. I'm hoping that we can make 2018 the, a better year than 2017. Because 2017, especially these past couple of months, have been really good for the channel. Hopefully 2018, we can just get to a higher like growth as a channel, get more people to the community, get more people joining the Discord, making better content for you guys. I really want 2018 to be the best year possible. I think for me personally, 2018 is going to have a lot of growth because I feel like a lot of things are going to change in my life in this year. So. I really want it to where we can just get 2018 to be the best year possible. Let's make this year a banger, guys. Your continued support is going to make it happen, and I really do appreciate you guys. 
Hopefully I can get some more money in the future too so I can support you guys a little bit too. That'd be nice to do since you guys have been supporting me for so long. But that's gonna be kind of it for today's uh, YouTube video. Let's start off 2018 with some bangers. I got some new content coming for you guys. Some new Duel Links updates are coming on by. Hopefully some new data mine so I can talk about those. And I guess I'll be it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.